Hi, I'm Dr. Suvarchala, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Do you know what androgen insensitivity syndrome is and how it causes infertility? Let's try to understand this topic in our discussion today. Androgen insensitivity syndrome is a genetic condition that affects sexual development and the responsiveness of the body to androgens. What are androgens? They are male sex hormones, but they're also produced in the female body. These problems or the insensitivity uh, syndrome occurs when an individual with XY chromosomes, which are typically male chromosome, has a reduced ability or complete inability to respond to the effects of androgens such as testosterone. This insensitivity leads to incomplete or absent development of male sexual characteristics despite the presence of male chromosomes. XY is male chromosome, but in spite of that, male sexual characters do not develop. So this syndrome is typically classified into three main types. The first one is complete androgen insensitivity syndrome. Individuals with this problem have a complete inability to respond to androgens. They are born with external genitalia, definitely, which appears typically female and their internal reproductive organs including testis remain undescended within the pelvis. This issue, individuals with this problem completely often have a female gender identity and are typically raised as females. Next is partial androgen insensitivity syndrome. In partial syndrome, there is a partial response to androgens resulting in a range of variations in external genitalia. Individuals with this partial syndrome may have a mix of male and female physical characteristics. The severity of the genital confusion ambiguity can vary also very widely. Then there is mild androgen insensitivity syndrome. When it is mild, which is to say that in its mildest form, where individuals may have male appearance with little or no genital ambiguity. The diagnosis is often made later in life when individuals seek medical attention for concern, especially when they are not able to have children and have infertility. So infertility in androgen insensitivity syndrome is primarily related to presence of undescended testis in individuals with complete complete androgen insensitivity. Despite the presence of testis, these individuals do not develop functional male reproductive organs and are unable to produce sperm. The testis in complete problem individuals are often removed surgically which is called as gonadectomy due to the risk of developing tumors. In partial androgen uh, insensitivity and mild uh, syndrome, fertility can vary. Some individuals with partial uh, syndrome may have sufficient androgen responsiveness to undergo normal male puberty and develop functional reproductive organs, which also includes sperm production. However, others may still experience impaired fertility. So it's important to note that not all individuals with androgen insensitivity syndrome are infertile and the impact on infertility can vary widely depending on the specific characteristics of the conditions. The severity of uh, genital ambiguity, the presence of functional reproductive organs and the individual's overall health and hormonal imbalance can influence the fertility outcome. Well, the management is very different. In these cases of androgen insensitivity, there is involvement of assisted reproductive technology such as IVF, using donor sperms or adoption or uh, other family building options. Each case is unique and decisions about fertility options should be made in consultation with your uh, fertility specialist, with genetic counselors and doctors who have specialized in reproductive medicine. To understand more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.